Well, Dan, we spoke with some of the choir students who were actually there at the festival when that shooting happened, and they tell us that they had to grow up so fast in such a short amount of time because of that. And so really, this song is just more than singing. It's about telling their story. The tragedy of the Gilroy Garlic Festival shooting, something that has transformed the lives of many people forever, including kids at Gilroy High School. It was weird because everyone was kind of just trying to act like nothing had happened, and I feel like everyone like knew, but it was just the thing that we weren't talking about. But now, they're not just talking, they're singing. Students are performing May Our Eyes Remain Open, a song composed specifically to honor the victims of the shooting. I really feel like that, that includes people that were obviously there, includes the victims who were actually injured or, um, or died. This was our way as musicians to, to uh, help us, but also our community. But it's more than just a song for these choir students who were at the festival that day. A real true sense of power mm -hmm. um, that we felt during rehearsals. It's like when you get done with the song it like you can still feel it it's like it's, it stays in you it's like written in the music like piano parts where it's to represent like gunshots or things and it's just it's a story and we are all sharing it and we are all telling it and it's beautiful together with this song they say they're bringing light out of the darkness Now, the students that we spoke with say that this song was really just a form of just reconnecting with people and making sure that everybody was okay and that they hope really that anybody that hears it will truly benefit from it. Dan. Thank you, Kyla. The song was, uh, I'm sorry, performed by uh, choir students, about 60 of them in all, from both Gilroy and Christopher High School.